Hello there, I am Giant Ghost with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we started Adventure, and we got our start Pokemon. We chose Chikorita, I nicknamed it Megan, and that's really about all we did. We um, got also, we have to got on this uh, mission, or we got sent on this errand by Professor Elm to go uh, meet with Mr. Pokemon, which is, uh, he lives, uh, his house is uh, north of Cherry Grove City, which isn't too far away from here. So yeah. Um, also we might want to do a first swap Pokemon battle. I'm gonna show like the first, maybe this battle, and then I'm gonna start cutting them out. But like, basically it's a wild encounter, so... Wait, no, wait, the chick the rat I made a... Didn't make its cry, so I might have to switch the sound to mono instead of stereo. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'll do the trick, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, basically... It's a turn-based system, turn-based RPG, so, you just, just keep on attacking it, um, you know, one Pokemon will give you experience for your Pokemon if you defeat them, and it's really nice, this red is only level 3 and female, so, it's not too bad, but, uh, just be cautious, you know, you have a, your Pokemon art has a berry that's hold, holding when you first get it, if you want to use that, I just also, um, I decided to take that berry from my Chikorita and my Megan, so yeah. Here's a potion, and we get potion from uh, the aid, one of Professor Elm's aids too, so you shouldn't be too worried, I mean, as long as you have healing arms and stuff, I should actually, I should definitely, um, switch to mono. Yeah, I, I hear the cry a little bit, but I don't know if it's really, show, uh, if it shows up on the recording or not, that well or something, like, you can hear it, but yeah, you can hear it a little bit, but, aye, aye, aye okay. Just take out this hoot hoot. We could go nice. Let's just growl again. Okay, so I might take two more tackles to defeat this thing now. Jeez. I don't know for sure, but uh. Oh well. There we go. Yeah, make it good level 6. Awesome. And I think when I did Pokemon Gold, I had to switch my um, sound settings to mono instead of stereo. So for sound, mono, I guess. Yeah, the mono and stereo is the only option. Like I said, mono then. I have to went through one more Pokemon battle just to see if it, uh, it updates the cry or whatnot for the Pokemon. There we go, it's a lot better if it's mono. Okay, there we go, nice, yeah. I can hear it in my headphones, hopefully it makes a difference when you listen to this video. It should, but yeah. I can always fix the waiter if I, I messed it up or mixed it up. I'm pre I heard the growl of, um, Hoot Hoot or the cry for Hoot Hoot a lot better when it was on mono instead of stereo. So, we should be in good shape. If not, I mean, I think it can be fixed later, but I think I already fixed it, so that's okay. It's all good. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I decided to cut that battle out, obviously. Uh, because so many wild encounters. Oh my gosh, first step. Okay, yeah, making good level 7, awesome. I believe I of late Greedo wins raids, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's take out this um tree, it's a berry. In Hardcore and Soul Silver there's uh Apric uh I think there's apricorns that you can get, um which we'll get to later, but like you need a case for them. I think you get them uh from this guy who gives you a berry usually in Pokemon Gold Silver and Crystal, yeah. So he's looking for a Pokemon that only appears at night. I'm waiting for a Pokemon that only appears at in the morning. Oh, so we're, we're, we're playing, I'm playing in the night. I got that mixed up. So if you're playing during the night, he says, oh, I'm looking for a Pokemon that appears in the morning. For example, the only Pokemon that really appears in the morning, I think, we, on this route, I think is Hoppit and Crystal, but in also in all, throughout Gold, Silver, and Crystal, uh, there's also Sentret too. And if you're playing it during the day or morning, I say, oh, I'm looking for a Pokemon that only appears at during the night, which, for example, for all Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it's Hoot Hoot. So yeah. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Um, you're a good rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. That's true. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Sure, why not? Okay, then follow me. Okay, this is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn how about them. I know about Pokemon Centers. Okay, this is a Pokemon Mart. Uh, they sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Yeah. Aware of that too. I'm aware of that too, man. Route 30 is out this way. Uh, trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there. Nice. This is the sea, as you can see. 
Uh, some Pokemon are only found in the wa in water. Nice. Here is my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. We get the map card. Awesome. Yeah, nice. Yeah, useful cards. Yeah, I wish you luck on my journey. Thanks, man. All these cards are going to be useful at some point, so that's a good map. But it's a Pokemon gear. We get the map, which is like a town map. So we're in Cherry Grove City right here. Um, we're trying... And, uh, yeah, as Professor Elm said in the last part, our first gym that we need to challenge to get first badge of Johto is in Violet City. So yeah. We're going to get to that soon enough, though. Um, yeah, also, I'm going to show this off. Um, here's the Pokemon Center. Just go up to the nurse. She'll heal your Pokemon if you uh, ask her to heal... Heal your Pokemon, yep, okay, so, or say yes, I should say. Then she'll heal your Pokemon. So yeah, obviously it takes a lot less time compared to, if you just have one Pokemon on you, compared to like if you have six Pokemon on you, which is the max you can carry at one time. So yeah, here's the PCs. Bill's PC is um, a Pokemon store, uh, which are all in the deposit system of Pokemon and stuff. So yeah, and the Steve, our PC of itself is just item storage, really. You know, go draw item, deposit item, toss item, mailbox, uh, log off, I guess. Bill's PC, I should go into more depth to that. We can withdraw Pokemon, deposit Pokemon, change box, move with Pokemon with, uh, without mail. I guess, see ya. <laughs> see ya then. <laughs> That's like the same as log off, I guess. So there's that. And then also, um... I'm playing this off an emulator, but, uh, if you, if you're playing Gold and Silver, like, especially if you're playing, maybe the, um, the, the eShop version for the 3DS, like, there's wireless trading and stuff and battling, which is really nice. You go right here to do all that stuff. You just talk to the certain nurses and they'll do certain things. Like, well, I think one's battle, one's trade, and then one's something else, like a mix of the two, maybe, I don't know. I haven't really done that, honestly. Uh, except for, uh, with, um, my friend, um, Matt. Matt Pissword, he helped me evolve my, um, my choke and my, um, and my, what was, and my, um, gravel into Golem. My gravel into Golem and my Machoke into Machamp by trade, so that's pretty cool. But other than that, I haven't really done a battle with anyone, like, especially Matt. We should, I should convince Matt to battle me in Pokemon Crystal, though, for, uh, using our 3DS, uh, eShop versions, you know, of course, because I don't have the one cable or anything for the original. Uh, Pokemon Crystal, you know, the original hardware and stuff. Uh, let's go to buy. Let's buy um, let's buy three potions. Let's buy three antidotes. Let's buy uh, let's buy two Peral Seals and one Awakening. There we go. Nice. Okay, that should be good. You're having about 130, awesome. Not 130, but 30. About 30. Jeez, okay. Okay, let's go into this house. This guy, I think, in the Harkon stuff, so gives you the kit box to carry your Apricorns. I could be wrong on that. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Uh, well, my Pokemon got healthy by eating a berry. Here, I'll share with you. I'll share one with you. We get another berry, awesome. So that's our second berry. No, it's actually a third berry, because we got one from a tree, one from Megan that was met, that he was holding. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna get a fourth berry right here. So if my math is correct, we should have four berries by now. I'm gonna check right after I uh, get this, put this berry in my item pocket. So yeah, pack. We got four berries now. Awesome. Nice. Okay. Ah, dang it. Okay, that was a polywag. Pretty cool. Okay, we found an antidote. Nice. Make your way back up here, up here to Mr. Pokemon's house. Awesome. Okay, here's a another fruit berry tree, <laughs> fruit bearing tree. Okay, we got poison cube, or yeah, PSN cube berry, which heals poison. Awesome. It can be, we can give it that to Pokemon too as a held item. So like, if they get poison battle and it's holding that, then it automatically just, uh, cure its poison without having to waste a turn, like using an antidote or something to heal it. Otherwise, that's awesome. Here is Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay, cool. It's Mr. Pokemon himself. Hello, hello, you must be Steven. Professor Elm said that you would visit. Nice. Uh, this is where I want Professor Elm to examine. Uh, wh oh, what he wants to examine. Cool. Get the mystery egg. Cool. We put it in the Kiam's pocket. I know a couple who ran a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was 
intrigued. So I sent mail to Professor Professor Elm, I guess you could say, yeah. For Pokemon uh, Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oka has recognized that. If you, uh, if my assumption is correct, Professor Elm, well, you know it. We'll know it. Okay. Aha, so you, Steven. I'm Oak, I'm Pokemon Researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for El Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, wait, what's this? Every Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. Two researchers like Prof Elm and I, uh, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Haha. -ha. So you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of a Pokedex. This it unlock records data of on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's high tech encyclopedia. We get the Pokedex. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. I'm scratching my head here. <laughs> Good. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Golden Mountain for my usual radio show. Steven, I'm counting on you. You're returning for some here. Your Pokemon should have some rest. Thanks, man. Heal your Pokemon up for you, so that's awesome. I'm depending on you. Okay. And this looks like either a rug or a lot of wires, you know? <laughs> There's a little couch there, too. That's blue. Awesome. Let's call from Professor Elm. Hello, hello, Stephen. It's a disaster. Um, it's terrible. It's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, no, no, no. Please get back here now. Quick, quick, quick. So, uh, when I said that Professor Elm already told us about going to Violet City to get our first gym badge, I got a little ahead of myself, so it's not to actually come go back there, actually. So, I have to make our way back to this lab, actually. That was a hoot hoot. <laughs> Dang it, are you kidding me? Okay, Megan's on level 8. And Megan also will learn Razor Leaf, which is awesome. Nice. Awesome. So to um, avoid the tall grass here, I'm going to just hop over these ledges right here. Or this ledge right here. And then to avoid this tall grass up here, I'm going to hop over this ledge too. Nice. I'm going to go heal up my Pokemon with quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so... Be prepared to battle right here because look who is here. That guy who kicked us or punched us and sent us flying backwards. Oh yeah. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a streak of Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a rival throughout the game. So if you chose Chikorita like me, she, uh, I must have said she. Originally when I thought, when I first played like gold, so, uh, silver version, for example. That's the first gen, gen 1, gen, gen 2 game I played. I thought that this trainer right here was a girl. And I thought the name, her, her name was actually question mark, question mark, question mark. I didn't get that that's a placeholder for, oh, you get a name your rival for later on. I didn't get that until like my third place of the game, honestly. I was like, huh, what if I just name my, what if I just name Lose if, which we'll get to that how we name our rival and possibly in this part hopefully so yeah and um yeah so if you chose chicory like me she i must have she again geez i said it right there okay he will have a cyndaquil the fire type which is good against your chicory i guess you could say um if you chose cyndaquil like him she will ha uh you will uh if you chose cyndaquil like him uh he will have a totodile which is the water type, and then if you chose Tortodile, she will ha- uh, he, there I go with she again, dang it. He will have a, uh, Chikorita. So it's whatever starter is, uh, good against yours. So, that kind of stinks, but okay. I'm gonna go for the Razor Leaf here. Cyndaquil's gonna use Leer, but it failed good. That's good for us. So this is level 5 in male. You get an upper edge, because you get to, like, train your Pokemon a little bit if you want to. Um, because my Megan's already level 8, as you can see right here. So yeah, Megan from Drake and Josh. Megan. I wonder if there's a, I bet there's a compu compilation of uh, Drake and Josh just screaming or saying Megan throughout the Drake and Josh series. I wouldn't be surprised, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't one out on YouTube. <laughs> but I could be wrong. I know there's a compilation of uh, 
Compilation, compilation, not compilation. It's compilation. No you in that word. <laughs> but um, we take out the cynical. But um, I know there's a compilation of uh, Drake and Josh being stuck in like the treehouse, and they like make it like Minecraft themed or uh, Castlevania themed or um, or maybe even uh, SpongeBob themed. You know, Sandy's tree dome when it's winter time and lockdown kind of. That's kind of funny. Yeah. But we defeated question mark, question mark, question mark. Hmm. Are you happy you won? Thanks for 300 Pokedots. I am, actually. Uh, my name is question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And then, yeah. He just runs off. Yeah, how can you, how can I can't run that fast in this game? Jeez. So I'm going to actually hop over the electric, hopefully to get, um... Yeah, just avoid the tall grass as much as possible, honestly. Because I don't want to run into any more water counters, to be honest. There we go, nice. So we made it back to New Bark Town. Now we have awesome, 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 awesome. Yep. That uh, person's long gone who stole that Pokemon, I guess. And then we know that they stole the Pokemon here because I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. Uh, I was just getting some invest information from Professor Elm. Apparently it was a young male with red long, long red hair. What? You about to turn it like that? Did you happen to get his name? Now, this is what you name your rival in the game, of course. Um, so I'm going to name it S Smat. And if it says rival's name right there, I don't get why I didn't put two and two together when I first played this game. So, oh, this is what you can name your rival. Like, how did I cannot put that together. I'm gonna name it Smat. It's a mixture of Sam and Matt. Sam with the two PC and Matt Pisslord. So the Smat. Yeah. So okay. So Smat was his name. Yes, he was. Awesome. Thanks for helping my investigation. We don't actually catch the person. Honestly, they just have the Pokemon forever, really. Apparently, throughout the game. Yeah. Steven, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was your Mr. Pokemon's biggest discovery? You had a big mood, sw mood swing there, huh? Uh, Steven handed the mystery to Professor Elm. Nice. This? Okay, it backs up for that. But this, it is just a Pokemon egg. If it is, uh, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Elm gave you a Pokedex? Steven, is that true? That's, that's incredible. He is, a super, he is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Well, Steven, you may have what it takes uh, to become the champion. You see, you seem to be getting g getting on great with P Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. This is way he talks about the Violet City Gym. The closest gym would be, have to be the one in Violet City. Steven, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. You don't have to talk to your mom, but it's always good to. She'll call you, like, right in the middle of a route. Say, hey, why did you just leave without saying goodbye? I wish you had told me this. you were leaving on an adventure. <laughs> yeah, Steven, use these on your Pokemon Quest. Awesome, we get Pokeballs, which we get five of them. Even though it looks like they just, they just support, they made it singular there. Uh, something, something Pokedex you have to catch Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Throw Pokeball, throw ball, Pokeballs at wall Pokemon to get them. Steven put the Pokeball in the Pokeball po in the ball pocket. Cool. Here is our mom in the kitchen. Awesome. Okay. Um. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did you get it? Uh. So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know I'll save money for you. A long, a long journey. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? I'm also gonna say no because she buys stuff and puts in your PC and stuff sometimes you don't even want. And uh, she says she keeps on calling you every time she says, Oh, I bought with your money, sorry. See your PC, you'll like it. Sometimes you don't like it, honestly. So, yeah, be careful. That's why I'm not wanting her to save my money, honestly. And the only, the only other difference I know of is that, like, at the end of the battle, it won't, the trainer won't say, Send some money to mom, or send some to mom. Instead, if you say no, um, let's just say right, the regular end dialogue and then just end the battle. So yeah, Pokemon are your friends. You need to work together as a team. Now go on. Okay. Cool. Okay, here we're back at about 129. There, I guess putting them once in front of all the routes. It's just about 29. I've seen you a couple of times. How would you, many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to teach you how to catch a Pokemon? No, I do not. I know how to catch a Pokemon. Okay, fine then. Anyway, if you ca want to catch a Pokemon, you have to walk a lot. Not necessarily. If it has a high rate of appearing and stuff, it's different then. 
But you're kind of right on that. I'm looking for a Pokemon I want to catch, but we'll see if it's this one right here. That was a Rattata, not the one I'm looking for. Not the Pokemon I'm looking for, to be honest. Let's see if this is the one I'm looking for. Yeah, here it is. Hoo awesome. So I'm on level 2, but that's okay. We can train it up and stuff. Let's go for the tackle. Okay, I did about half, okay. Um, I should, may, I may want to go with the Waze Wave because it's not very effective, but then again, it could have a high critical ratio or something. Let's go for the pack. I meant, I didn't go back to my, to my Pokemon. I'm going to go to my pa pack, I guess. So let's hope we have this Pokeball will catch it. Awesome. Let's hope, let's just hope for the best. One, two, three. Aw, oh, man, it shook three times and... That's unlucky, man. I might try one more Pokeball, the way I'm just gonna faint this one for experience and try to catch another one. Because it helps if you weaken it down to lowest possible, so like in the red zone, it'd be awesome. But for me, it's not the case with me, obviously, because it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But yeah, the second Pokeball catches it, though. Cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Dado's out of the Pokedex, awesome. Hoot Hoot is the owl Pokemon, it w its uh, height is 2 feet, it's 2 feet 4 inches tall, it weighs 47 pounds though, geez. It's number 163 in the National Dex, I guess you could say. Yeah, in the National Dex. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm hoping, yeah. It begins to hoot, uh, at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of quacks. Cool. Victim to Hoot Hoot, yes. I'm gonna make sure I spell this nickname right. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna nickname this Pokemon as Oliver. Or no, Oliver, I mean Oliver. That's, um, that's, I uh, just, Oliver is how I remember I spelled, I guess. Oliver. Oh, Oliver, there we go. Okay. So another, like, first name, uh, boy name, I guess. So, o Oliver, yeah, cool. So yeah, we're just gonna, just, uh, switch over to Oliver. Seven level difference from from Megan and uh, Oliver to Megan. Wow, let's check out stats though. Okay, so level twelve and night three has nineteen experience points. That shouldn't take too long, uh, honestly. It it already has eight experience points. That's awesome. Um, it's it knows tackle and growl, and its attack is six. Its defense is six. Its special attack is six. Its special defense is seven. Its speed is seven. Awesome. It's normal flying type, as you saw right there in the pink section. Awesome. Up here you can catch like, uh, in this area you can catch, um, like Geodudes and, uh, Jigglypuff and Spearow, stuff like that. And in the morning you can catch Fampy, which is pretty cool. I'd recommend Fampy. Fampy is a good p Pokemon. It's a good ground type, I should say. But I'm not gonna be using Fampy for this project, or this playthrough. Okay, that was a Hoot Hoot. So yeah, we took it out. I did the old switcher trick, so that's cool. I'm gonna go here real quick. Okay. So, um, we're just making our way around town, I guess. Dang it, here's another wild Pokemon encounter. So, Avagur level 3, awesome. That was a Poyog that we just defeated, so that's pretty cool. And yeah. So I'm gonna have the part right here, so this has been my Pokemon and Crystal walk to guide part. Next part will take on the route ahead here. So if I get on my Pokemon gear, I think you can look it up actually. So yeah, route um well 31 and then we'll get to Violet City. So that's pretty cool. I hope to get to Violet City and uh maybe even do stuff there. I don't know. We'll have to see on time and stuff, how time goes with us. How time is with us, I should say. So yeah, this has been Jacko again. I would like to give you a good goodbye and I hope to see you guys next by my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.